Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a very first look at Cortana running on Windows 10. Now before we dive in, I must stress that this is an in-development version of Cortana running on pre-release software. That means the user interface isn't finished and features are very buggy. Um, the user interface comes to light here especially as in this build, the user interface isn't designed for consumers, it's designed for testers to get to the core function of Cortana. So uh, don't be judging her on her looks, she will look 10 times better in 2015. Now we've got that out of the way, let's be excited about Cortana running on Windows 10. Here she is in all of her unfinished glory. Um, she can do many things uh, in this build. She can do pretty much everything the Windows Phone version can, minus the chatty side. I can't ask her personal questions such as whether she loves Master Chief. Uh, that isn't a bug, that's simply because the database in which she'd need to be connected to to be able to get those responses isn't currently available on the desktop. This feature will be available to consumers when she rolls out publicly, but I just can't demo that today. Everything, everything else I should be able to show you, such as uh, reminders, uh, weather, and so on. So other than that, let's demo what she can do. I have a list of things here that she can actually do in this build, so uh, let's go down them one by one. Up first is Skype calling. In this build, if I have someone on my contacts list, I can ask Cortana to call them, and she will automatically use Skype. So if I ask to call Mikey, call Mikey. She will open Skype, and if I was signed into Skype, it would automatically begin to dial Mikey. She can also add things and check your calendar. So if I ask her to do that now, what's on my schedule today? Okay, I can check your calendar. Here's what you have today. And if I had any appointments, she would display them here. She can also add things. Put swimming on my calendar. Sure, when's your event? 5 p.m. today. What should I call it? Swimming. And it bails out there. See, in this build, she isn't actually hooked up to the live service, meaning I, she doesn't actually connect with my calendar. So when she tries to add something, there isn't any calendar to add to. So it throws out an error. But hey, it's confirmed that calendar support will be available in Cortana on Windows 10. Up next, we've got reminders. Just like on Windows Phone, I can ask Cortana to remind me to do something. Remind me. Sure. Tell me your reminder. Remind me to visit winbeta.org. When should I remind you? When I leave work. Sure. Remind you when you leave luck. There's a travelling luck on is at 50 Kensington Court in London. Is this the one you want? Yes. Okay. I can remind you to remind me to visit winbeta.org when you leave traveling luck. Is that right? Yep. Great. I'll remind you. And you can see it in the notebook anytime. There you have it. We now have a reminder in our notebook, which is very nice. Up next, we've got alarms. She can obviously add alarms to your alarm app. So let's do that now. Wake me up at 6 a.m. What time would you like your alarm? 6 a.m. Your alarm is set for 6 a.m. And she can also turn off those alarms as well if you ask her to. Notes, she can take notes, so let's ask her to take a note. Take a note. Taking a note. Remind me to go shopping later. Saving your note. Got it. Uh, I'm not very good with notes, but I mean, that, that would have been more of a reminder. However, you get the idea, you can add notes using Cortana. She can also play and pause music, however, that isn't hooked up to the Xbox Music app, so if I ask her to play any music, she won't actually do it. But let's demonstrate it anyway. Play music. Resuming. And if I had music, it would start playing. She also does maps and directions, which I haven't actually tested yet, so let's do that now. Um, let's see what we do. So, how long will it take to get to Big Ben? Nah, it didn't work. Let's try something else. Can Give me directions to Big Ben. Getting you directions to this is not working. <laughs> well, as you can see, if it was working, you'd get directions to Big Ben. However, as Cortana just said, this is not working. Uh, again, early build, things will not work. But you get the idea, directions will be available in Windows 10 on the desktop. Uh, you can also ask her where restaurants and things are. So if I ask her where the nearest Starbucks is... Is there a Starbucks near me? 
and there's a list of Starbucks but if I click on them I would imagine they either open Internet Explorer or the Maps app which is built into Windows. I can ask for the weather which is fairly simple. What's the weather like in New York City? And that's the weather in New York City. So that's pretty much it for Cortana on the desktop at this precise moment. I believe she'll be able to do a lot more when uh, she rolls around to the public. However, right now, as I said in the beginning of the video, the other side of the database, which would involve all the chit chat stuff, isn't available. So I can't ask her to convert pounds to dollars or uh, what her name is or and so on and so forth. But everything else appears to be here and ready. So, um... That's a first look at Cortana running on Windows 10. Make sure you stay tuned at winbeta.org for more coverage on Windows 10. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.